My question is about the performances. I think you're brilliant with ensembles. I've always actually wanted to ask you what draws you to be a part of the ensemble and how do you approach directing yourself? It ended up being really kind of good to me for me to be sitting at that table because I was part of the circle. I was part of the dynamic of what was going on. And I wasn't hopping around. I was kind of like, once I sat at the table, I had people come to me. I saw who was losing their energy, who had their energy, who, uh, if we were doing close-ups and everything, who to shoot out first, who to, uh, oh, okay, well, now he's done. I, I, gotta, I, gotta fuck. I, can't, I can't deal with him again until tomorrow. But, but Steve Buscemi, he's okay. I can, I can, I'll, I'll, I'll push it on Steve. I'll, do, I'll, I'll, I'll press Steve harder now. I'll finish the day with Steve. Um, uh, but it was just about that kind of, it was the, the, that whole dynamic. We, we kept passing it back and forth in that circle. So it was important that I was part of that circle. I wasn't talking to them. I was them. But also, I think it's, it, it's good to note that, as I've observed in The Hateful Eight and other things we've worked on, is that he doesn't use a monitor, so, which is a terrible habit one can get into, is, looking, is watching TV while you're making a movie. And so I've noticed that you, even you're not in the scene, but your proximity to the actors is almost like sitting at that table at Reservoir Dogs. I, I'm not sitting there at Video Village in another room watching TV, all right, uh, while my movie's being made. I'm uh, wherever the camera is. You know, if, if, uh, if I'm shooting this young lady who's sitting right here with the glasses right there, and, and we're putting the camera right here, I'm right here. <laughs> I'm right here, looking right at her, and here we go. And, you know, from time to time, time I'll ask an actor if it bothers them that I'm there. It almost never bothers them that I'm there. They're, that's what they're doing. They're acting for me. They want me to like it. Every single actor, if it's your cousin who you talked into doing the movie and he's the worst actor in the world, but he's got red hair and you need the guy because he has red hair and he'll do it for free. <laughs> or if you're talking about Christoph Waltz, <laughs> doesn't matter. If you're right there by the camera, when you say cut, they will all look to you <laughs> to see what you thought. They're acting for you. They are just acting only for you when you do that. So don't be in another room. Don't be watching TV, you know, uh, you work too hard to be watching TV while the most exciting moment of your life is happening. Be there, look at their eyes, see the environment around them. You know, yeah, fuck the frame for a little bit. You've got the frame, you know what the frame is supposed to be. Okay, but you know, uh, uh, see what's outside the frame. You know, but also you're just feeling the drama of the scene. When you watch it on a monitor, it's, you're almost too much an audience member. No, you're a cre you're, this is the creative part. You're there, it's back and forth. You're, you're part of it. You're part of the, ele uh, the electric current that's going on. 